Hi, my name is Gamma Globe, and today I will be making my very first game. Right now, I am learning the Unity game engine, but the game that I will be making today will not have any graphics. It will be made in C++ and it will be a text-based horror game. Marking the beginning of my journey as a game developer. So, before starting to work on it, I will first plan the things that the game will be made of. First, the story. Obviously, all games, almost all games, need a story. The story is like this. There is a supposedly haunted house that and you are dared to go into the house by your friends uh, because you know that's what real friends do throw you in front of death for entertainment come on man go in there don't be a coward but but it's scary just go in you little <laughs> shit <laughs> So inside the house, you see two doors. After choosing a door, you will meet one of two monsters. Then you will find some weapons. Then you will have the option to use the weapons or hide. If you choose wisely, you win. Or else, you lose miserably. Um, side note, you cannot choose wisely. The outcome just depends on your luck. I had to tell you to choose wisely, otherwise I will get sued. <laughs> After that comes the twist, which you will get to know later. Then comes linking multiple choices and outcomes together. What that means is that the choices will, that will be provided to the player will, may lead to the same outcome that you get when you take another action. Then comes the actual implementation of the game. I already wrote all the code so you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to see the boring stuff. Now to make the product cover of the game. Obviously all games need a product cover. So I'm going to make one. Um, I'm not that good of an artist, so I'll just choose images of Google, off of Google. So um, I wouldn't have to do much work. <laughs> okay, let's take this. Uh, this is fine. Okay. Also, this is relevant to the. Um, okay, uh, Photoshop. Just write the name of the game. Okay, so keep it in the center, and then work text. Keep an upper arc and that's fine. Then uh, the color is
Okay, so the product cover is also ready. Okay, so now everything is ready and now it's finally time to play the game. <gasps> so the game is called Abandoned Freedom. I don't know why, it just sounded the cool name in my head. Okay. So you are Dash and you were tricked into going into an into a haunted house. Haunted uh, with uh, a question mark in the brackets because it's supposedly haunted. Uh, you were tricked into going into a haunted house as a dare by your friends. Make your decisions wisely and try to get out of the haunted house, escaping the dangers that follow. Now, there's a hint to be aggressive and wise. You need to balance those two things. It's a good hint. Okay. In the dark night, you enter the haunted house through the front, front door. As you enter, you are assaulted by hundreds of webs at your face which take you a long time to move. After you remove the webs, you see two old looking doors facing each other with the dead end in the, in the middle. Which door do you choose? So, um, enter one for the first door, enter two for the second door. I'm gonna choose door number one. Hmm. You decide to enter door number one. Oh no, you encounter a witch. She cackles away as you cover in fear. <laughs> so, you see a knife and a gun. Do you pick up the knife or the gun? So I'm gonna choose uh, the knife. Okay. Do you decide to use it or hide? Uh, for the choices that I have given to the to the player, the decision to choose, the decision to use a weapon or hide uh, can help you to win or lose the game. Using a weapon is not always the right option in, in here. Okay, so I will hide. You see a bed and decide to hide under it until the monster goes away. Oh no, the floor under you collapses and you fall into a pit and faint. When you wake up, you see thousands of cockroaches crawling the now disease ridden floor in front of you. As you are extremely afraid of cockroaches, you die of extreme shock. Game over. Ah. That worked. Okay, enter anything to continue does not work. Okay, let's see another ending. Um, let's choose the second row this time. Oh no, you encounter a cyclops. The cyclops screams in anger as you trespass on his property. You see a gun and a missile launcher. Do you pick up the gun or the missile launcher? Now, you have to think right here. You are in a small room and you have a gun and a missile launcher. If you choose the missile launcher and you shoot it, then you blow up the whole room, including yourself. So use your brain and choose the gun. Okay. You pick up the gun. Do you decide to try to shoot? One for yes, two for no. Yes. You decide to try to shoot the cyclops and you hit him in the eye. The cyclops screams in pains, collapses and dies. After killing the cyclops, a, doors appear, a door appears inside the room which turns out to be the exit leading out of the haunted house. You scream in happiness and think that you will kill your friends as soon as, as, soon as you see them. Because they tricked you into going into the haunted house. And now comes the twist. You find your friends standing close to the park in front of the house laughing. They seem a little weird. As you, as you approach them, they start transforming into giant creatures of the dark. You scream. Ah! You win. Or do you? And... Okay. So that was the game. Hmm. Well, if you like this video, then don't forget to like comment and subscribe or not if you don't want to but remember that that would make me sad